Welcome everyone, sorry for the delayed start, um, they've shut the road and it, it made us all late <laughs> getting here. But so, the top of the bar, they've just shut there, but the other way in is still open. What way? At the, at the moment, but then who knows, it could all shut be... Shut road, nobody told anybody. They didn't, they didn't announce it, apart oh, from oh. by putting blockades. <laughs> Yeah, there wasn't no signs around. There was no signs until you actually hit it. What? Until you hit the sign. Because then it said Rose Cove, so you could see. And everybody was. Oh. I've got no idea what's going on. Then I got up the next one and that said Rose Cove. So you can do this in your chair as well. So you just. Like that. So you just press record. Yeah, I'll press record. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're awake, young man. <laughs> I'm going to shut that door. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> And shake. I'll show that from the back. So that's what we're doing. And it, it works in the chair as well. Those of you that are in the chair, you just kind of. Yeah, it still works. It's all good. A little bit of bounce again. And then very slowly, we're going to do a slow, slow motion version of this. And down. That was freezing in Burwell this morning. Well, not freezing, freezing, but it's very cold. <laughs> so we, we had to make the theme of the class in Burwell warmth. And I guess we're having to do the same thing in Reach, aren't we? Now, once we could find Reach, <laughs> once we reached it, but it was like, oh, that's not very helpful. I, was, I thought, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, the, so for those of you that fancy coming in extra, on Monday we are going to be in this very hall 
at 10.30 in the morning for our inaugural Tai Chi and Tea. Very important. <laughs> I'm even going to get some biscuits. So, oh, it might sway. I mean, what's your... I normally quite, I mean, the, the people seem to tell me that the chocolate hot knobs are quite nice. Uh, I mean, chocolate, but I love custard, custard creams. Custard creams, alright, I will make sure there's custard creams. The selection of biscuits. Yeah. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. You've got to calm down. <laughs> yeah. The ads. That's the only problem, you've got all the ads. So we just go like this and we just come down and up, down and up, so you feel that. <clears throat> okay, and then next we just tra practice shifting the weight, shifting the weight. Custard creams, yeah, I forgot about custard creams, they go good. Like custard creams. Ginger nuts. Oh yeah, the ginger nuts. They love those in Ely. Ginger nuts. Yeah. 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 Okay. I've forgotten about the ginger nuts. They used to really go. It was the actually they were they were in competition between the ginger nuts and the chocolate hobnobs. They used to go like the clappers. And the other thing is, I've got to buy more hot chocolate. Because Ely goes through hot chocolate like it's going out of fashion. They just. It's dreadful. Anyway. So. Okay, then turn. Transfer the weight and turn. Transfer the weight and turn. Now, this time, go back to the middle and you open your arm into that lovely T shape. Then you transfer the weight and turn one hand. Goes in the front, one hand goes in the back, I'll just show you that from the side view. Side view, you like this, you're breathing. So, is it going to be colder now, or what, what did the weather. Oh, it's going to be. Is it going to be air or high pressure? Excellent. Okay. Check your posture. <sighs> Breathe in and out. And just... That's it. Just let the arms drop. Like, you know, not when you get to the road and it's got signs on it. <coughs> so, just drop the arms. There we are. <coughs> That's quite nice. Just, just relax. It's fine. The more relaxed you are, and the more your muscles are, the more the circulation works around the body, so you don't need to try to get, get warm. You warm yourselves up by moving around more in a relaxed manner. Oh, we've got, we've got some water in the kitchen if you want. You've got a drink, okay. Very, very, very organised. Fantastic. That's it. That's it. So you want to be upright, so the head's floating, but you want to sink the hips. That's good. And you want your chin tucked in. So as if you've got a tennis ball that you're holding in place with your chin, like you get with some um, dog.
dog walkers. They'll, they'll have the tennis ball there, so then they can throw it for the, for the dog. Okay. Four, three, two, and one, and then we. And we're all breathing. Very nice. So yeah, thanks to Nick Penny for providing the music today. It's just lovely. Circles were wobbling when I. So I've been doing this exercise about 10 years with the Cascubas in Reading, Corella and Ever Cascuba. And then for many years I only knew this move as do this. So he'd say do this and then we'd, we'd do it. And then then after about 10 years, I realised I had no idea what this move was called. And so he said, oh, any question? And I had a message. said, what is this move actually called? And then he went, hmm. Went quiet for a bit and then said, wobbly. So I think he possibly just made that up on the spot, but that will do. Because that's what you do, you can't wobble. And with wobbly, you can actually go. You can actually go for a for a wobbly walk, which is what I've done with Ever. So you can practice. So those of you that are sitting down, you can still do the weight shift, and you can move your feet a bit. But obviously, you won't be going very far because you're sat down. But you can still join in. And then you go to cat stance, and then the heel toe, and then just do your wobbly walk three and four and then you do a wobbly walk backwards so you bring <laughs> toe heel and I'll keep the wobble going that's the thing she said when you when you're doing your wobbly walk I'll just show you from the side I'll show you from the side three four one and I, I missed Eva's class this morning because I was driving. Very annoying. Round the road closes. Road closes. There's so many closed roads at the moment. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're fixing the potholes. At least I hope so. <laughs> That'd be unusual, wouldn't it? So you just go for a wobbly walk. Wobbly walk. And that helps gently. That's enough of that. That helps gently build the strength up on here. Like, is it quite cold in there? Yeah, well? there. yeah there's a draft that comes through the one where all the chairs are kept in that kind of cupboard. There's a draft, if you have it open, the draft comes through. There must be a crack somewhere yeah. that lets the draft in. So, okay, what have we done wobbly? Uh, oh, okay, let's just one, two. It's a bit chilly, we want to make sure all our joints are comfortable. Six. So I'm not in a hurry today. Seven, eight. Posture check. They go in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, 
eight. Other side. One, two, three, four. So I'm hoping, because I've been collecting some birds on five, six, seven, eight, that me, Nick, and Eleanor, Mrs. Nick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight can come to the studio and with birds on we're going to record some healing music similar to that kind of thing and, and have a just for kind of doing tai chi or yoga or polite or, you know or, or meditating or whatever to be quite nice bird folds its wings one two three four Five, six, seven, and eight. Marvellous. That's great. Great. Right. Uh, yeah. Hands on hips. So you serve. So when you're doing it standing up, it looks like that. Two. Keep going. Three, four. And when you're sitting down, you do it like this. Great. Five, six. Seven, eight. Was that, was that two more? Nine, <laughs> ten. It's just because it's quite. It's because it, it was so hot the last few days, and because the temperatures dropped so much, you want to look after your muscles. Let's go in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breathe and begin. One. Keep relaxed, keep relaxed. Two. 
But you've got your spinal leg. Spinal leg. And then the other way. One, two, three. We'll go into the windmills in a minute. Let's do some phoenixes and dragons and turtles and things. So, because we were. So one popular thing that happens with, with people's um, backs. Oh, I left my drink, hang on, I'll just bring that in. So, pollen counts up as well, so we're doing as well. <laughs> we're doing well. Um, the backs, lower backs, especially lower backs, can get complained a bit. So this next set of exercises are great for sort of back mobility. So the more mobile you are, so the more um, Gary Burwell, we might try this one later, we did that one, just to get the hips mobile. We'll have a look at that later. It's a really but you need a wall unless you have super duper balance. We'll do that in a minute. Let's do the backs, then we'll do the hips, and then we'll do the windmills. Um, so, let's go back to this one, just turning. And just imagine the, the muscles of the back letting go and loosening. And you want to really just relax. So if you get the structure right as you move, then it becomes quite effortless in moving around. And it works better. It's about getting your body in good working condition. So let, let's start with the phoenix turn to ten. Let me demonstrate. I'll demonstrate a couple of times and then we'll do a joining in a bit as a trial and then we'll do it properly. So I'll start like this, like I've got a book that I'm reading. Then I'll turn my foot in, I turn my foot out, I transfer my weight, I make a round shape in my arms. I lean slightly forward, I point the fingers, point the fingers and then I look down at the heel. Then I make a round shape, I put it back where I found it and then I start again. I turn the foot in, turn the foot out, transfer the weight, nice round shape, point, point, look down. So you get a stretch in the neck, round shape and back where you found it. Well, I'm going to turn around and we're going to do a little trial run and see how we feel and then we're going to do it. So what you do is you point the fingers that way, point the fingers, keep your shoulders down and then you just look down, look down at the back foot. So the important thing is, is getting your feet in the right place and getting your weight in the right place. So we'll just start here. Turn the foot in, turn the foot out, transfer the weight, hold, the nice round shape, point the fingers, top fingers point, bottom fingers point, you look down towards the, well towards the toes really. Then you come back, put it back where you found it, round shape, read the book. The phoenix turns its head, you turn the left foot in. Turn the right foot out, transfer into the right foot, hold, hold. Point the fingers, point the fingers, look down. Come back to the middle. Turn, turn. Point, point. Bless you. 
turn the foot in to hay fever, it's terrible. And then you sit. And then open the arms. And touch. So that, that mainly works the upper part of the back. Um, called Phoenix, turns its head. Okay, let's do polishing the table. So take a slightly wider stance, but make a round shape. And you turn. Now if you're doing this in a chair, what you want to do is you want to sink your hips back as the hands come forward, and then bring your hips back. So they push back into the chair, push down with your feet, and then come up. So you get, you really work the legs. If you're standing up, this goes like that. Now you don't have to go down as low as I am. You can still do it just as good like this. And, and do it mainly upright, because you're still then exercising your, your spine. If you do feel like it, you can really stretch that back and come back up. So you want to relax the muscles, just relax. So there's this, this squishing with the arms, and as you squish with the arms, the, hip, uh, the hips counterbalance, and you want to make sure your knees are in line with the toes. So you go like that. You can go all the way down to a full squat if you want, and then come back up, but you don't have to. You could just go to here, and that's just as good. See, oh, when you when you finish. Just allow yourself to settle first and then move. So you go all the way down and then come back up and settle down. Come up and settle. Yeah, nice. Okay, so um, did we do the turtle? Swimming turtle? Did, yeah, because yeah, Corella and I have resurrected it from many years ago. We used to do this at nauseam many years ago, and then thankfully it went out of fashion, but then I realised what a useful and great exercise is. So this is called Flying Turtle. Flying Turtle. So you, I'll just show you, go like that. Now you can do it there, or actually, the way I did it originally, we'd go like that, and that's Flying Turtle. Let me show you from the like this. Now you don't have to do it and I'm lengthening and then you just go like that with the arms. Now you can do that from this angle and that will still work. There's flying turtle, just two, we'll do five because it's it's quite character building. Three, four, five, and then you come back up, whew, and then yeah, it's good isn't it? And then we've got swimming turtle. Swimming turtle, which I just love because one, I absolutely love turtles a lot. I love watching them on YouTube. There's loads of videos of these swimming turtles. And my friend is in Brazil and he helps, they make these special channels for the baby turtles to walk through, like, like hedgehog walkways. And then off they go into the sea and it's, sort of, and it's fantastic. So they I've got a very, but it is a bit character building this exercise. So swimming turtle. So you have the turtle goes and does a breaststroke, and then you come up like this, upright. So you push the hips back, and then we we we'll, we'll do four swings because it, it's absolutely no. And I keep my you should actually have your thighs parallel to the ground, apparently, when you do it. But let's, we won't worry too much about that. And then we have turtle swims backwards. So now we're going backwards. Two. 
So this is a really good way of building the strength up in your back and your legs. Three, four. Ugh. Oof, right, that's enough. Come on. He's murdered that one. Okay, and then um, we've done that one, haven't we? We'll do a baby version of Dragon Surf's teacups. Oh, that's nice, though, isn't it? That's much more civilised. So you turn, you come round, you come up. Now don't spill the tea. Don't spill the tea. So you're one, two, three, Oh, you've spilled the tea, you just yeah. fell down. <laughs> Never mind. So you want to keep the palms up. Keep the palms up. And go in the direction. So just feel the circle. Feel the circle. Okay, and then just for experimentation, so we're going like this. Fingers pointing out, fingers pointing away, cross, and then that comes in. So the top hand is quite. I'm going to try a bit quicker. One, two, three, four, five, and then go slowly. Four, five, and then five, step one, two, three, four, five, and then five, step one, two, three, four, five, and then five, step one, two, three, four, five, and then five, step one, two, three, four, five, and then five, step one, two, three, four, five, and then five, step one, two, three, four, five, and then five, step
to. So relax more when you go faster. Four, five. Nice. Okay, try in the other direction. So point both of your fingers out to the side. And they're on the same line. Like you're holding a rope or something like that. Then you go across. You turn. You come down with the hands. So the hands move together. The hands move together. Arms down. Arms down. Palm. Fingers in. Fingers away. Arms out. Arms out. Same height. Down first, yeah, let's get it right this time. Turn down. Forward. Turn to the long arm first. Turn to the bent arm. Push your weight around. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Push away the mountain. Right. Two, three, four, five, six. On the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. You go faster if you want. Relax more. Just relax more. Really relax. And one smaller feeling. So it kind of gets a bit scrappy, but the more relaxed you are, the less scrappy it gets. Um, let's do. We'll do that one. That's middle winding, first setting. So this turn. Nice and slow. Back 
So it goes along the same path and then there's a little, there's a big circle at the end, so it goes like this. Go back along the same path and then like that. And then slow. <coughs> Once more with feeling. Fantastic. So for our grand finale, we're going to have a go at white ape <coughs> fruit. White ape fruit. So let me just demonstrate that. We just start here. We step. The wild horse's mane. You can do this in your chair. I'll show it in the chair as well. Just demonstrate it standing up first. So. so I make sure before I move into it that I've got my feet in the right place. Heel toe, then off I go. And you want to relax. You want to keep very, very relaxed. Um, when you're doing it in the chair, it's a bit more subtle. But I step to the corner and I... It's the same, really. Bring the foot in, hold the ball, step to the corner. Yeah. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit more contained than when when you do the walking about version, right? So, because the majority of people on that side of the room, if everybody goes over here, we go for a walk. So, how to walk to the shops? So, everybody, there we So, I've got my right hand on top, my left hand underneath. And we just, we're in left cat stance. Now you just step heel the toe. Feel the heel, feel the toe, feel the foot. Now we do the movement. Open, close, sink back, sink forward. Shoulders sit back, sit back, sit back, hold the ball. Just finish off with 
this one. So I think we've done it quite a few times now. We'll, we'll come round and uh, twice but I keep forgetting so um, I'm hopefully the third time lucky I'll be able to remember it much better. Do it much better. So just breathe in. And we're all breathing. Look at that, that fantastic. So plum blossom falls left and right. So you're transferring the weight, and you transfer the weight, transfer the weight, you come up, all that beautiful, look at that, we are super chilled today, this is marvellous. So you can hear it's an actual night ago that my friend Nick recorded. Apparently there's nine where he lives. There's nine night girls. Okay. Singing. Kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, I mean one's amazing, but nine, that must be almost overwhelming, I should think. Very, a 
thing I love about the Chinese language is how visual it is. And they've got like, I wish I could speak it because they've got all this, I'm missing out on all this lovely poetry in that. They've written all this amazing poetry and also I've got lots of Chinese friends that are, and the music and everything. And so, And there's a lot of, you know, creative pursuits associated with Tai Chi. So quite a lot of my friends that teach Tai Chi also do things like art and poetry and music and dance. So it's all very... But very relaxed. So just calm in the mind one more time. Calm the mind. Feeling yourself settle. Return to the mountain. Return to the mountain. Let's look super young today. So I learned this from Master Chung. You rub your hands together, nice heat, and you polish your face. Polish your face, and that makes you look younger. Apparently, so it might be this might be the the day it works. And then rub the hands together again, and give the lower back a rub. So we look younger and we're feeling, you know, we get the well-being as well. So that's good. And then breathe in. Grace, tiger, breathe out. Return to the mountain. So the mountain is that place of strength, resilience. And peace. One more time. That's great. Really good. Nice. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Really own your space. Make a fist with the right hand. Left hand over the top, bring your feet together, and fantastic. Well done. So continue with that vein. Oh, there we are. Perfect timing. Yeah, so hopefully, I don't know if the road will be shut, but maybe we should factor that in, just in case they close more roads. And we have to get here by, I don't know, co or something. <laughs> Great. Well done, everybody. That was great. Thank you. Thank you.